It's yours truly, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP, world-class athlete extraordinaire, and I'm here. Hey, you gonna take my bag or you gonna have me standing here with all day? We are here to give you a behind-the-scenes look at mocap for WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. I'm coming! Nobody can stop me, nobody can hold me, nobody can control me. I'm coming! Follow me, Lens. Everybody decent? THQ and WWE spared no expense. They wanted to make sure that the playmaker and ball in were 100% authentic MVP. Check out the high-tech mocap suits. Now they got one for me. For real. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get suited up and I'm gonna show these boys how to mocap. I am SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 mocap alumni. Basically the way mocap works is this. You get an athlete, in this case, world-class athlete extraordinary MVP to put on a special suit that has these it's like reflective balls of some sort. It's, it's, it's really high tech. Monday Night Raw was last night. That means officially this is technically my day off. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, MVP does not get body slammed, suplex, super kick, pedigree, 619, tombstone, or any of the above. Now I want you to get a shot of Gene Simmons' boots. Gene Simmons versus The Undertaker. Okay, not really, but I just saw those interesting boots and thought I'd share them with you. I'm gonna go ahead and go through my T-pose, let the system pick me up, go through a range of motion, and at that point, I'm gonna show everybody how it's done. It's a special studio with sensors all the way around that pick up the reflective light off of these balls in a specialized suit, and the athletes go through the moves so that when you, the WWE Universe, play SmackDown vs. Raw, you get the authentic motion, the authentic movement, everything is lifelike as can possibly be. You know, I'm a huge fan of the SmackDown vs. Raw series. All the boys play. You know, we all have Xbox and we all have you know, PS3s. And we're, we're on the road, we're playing all the time, on the bus, in the locker room. So to actually come out here and be a part of it, it's a privilege and an honor. SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 was outstanding, but the envelope keeps getting pushed. THQ and the WWE have taken the road to WrestleMania to an all new level. For the very first time, your character can freely roam throughout the locker room area and actually throughout the entire arena where you can interact with other superstars and divas, you can get into locker room brawls. You can experience the WWE like never before. In WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, John Cena and I had a little uh, a run in, if you will, but this is SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Well, let's just say this. I'm friends with John Cena. I'm friends with Kofi Kingston. But when it comes to being number one, I'm not taking a back seat to anybody. I don't care if it's John Cena, Kofi Kingston, Triple H, Randy Orton, The Miz. There's only one MVP. MVP. Playmaker. As soon as SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 hits the shelves, grab yourself a copy. Straight up. Ballin'.